Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be making a line art mermaid and this is inspired by a James the Burke creative tutorial which is online which I'll link below. So I'm starting off in my art journal and this is a technique you would have seen me do um, lots before so I am speeding through this page fairly quickly. Um, but I wanted to sort of create an underground, underground, underwater theme. So I'm using my uh, Dina Wakely uh, acrylics, which are in turquoise, sky and marine. And I made it really, really watery and spread it out amongst two pages. Now I'm going in with these sort of wave stencils and ghosting it. So I'm pulling off some of the pattern in the background and drying it off just to get sort of these sort of interesting effects in the background. Because I have put so much paint down, I was a bit generous. So I'm actually doing two pages at once. If I don't use all this page, that's fine because I can use it in the next time. Now, um, I just want to add a little bit more depth to this page with color. So I've gone in with a um, Vinabare liquid acrylic and put it all over the page and then ghost it off. So you can still see some of that texture in the background. And then with my dirty stencil, I just actually pressed it onto the other page, which again gave some texture to that page as well. So I'm starting off, these are the concept stamps from James Luke Burke Creative. And this is how he started off his page. <clears throat> so he stamped this out, used a plumb line down the middle and <clears throat> drew in a really simple mermaid shape using his the body from his stamp to draw it in and then extending down the hair. Now hair is always an issue for me so again I, this is why I really loved watching his tutorial because he makes it look so easy. I've stamped it out in white ink obviously so it's easier to see and I'm using a white Stabilo oil pencil just so that I've got my outline there. And now all I'm doing is going in with my food ball pen drawing around the outline of the image and then just filling it up with lines uh, and it's as simple as that and it's just such a graphic way to create a piece of art which I really really loved and it's a technique that I'm going to do a lot more um, but again I've sort of sped this up a lot so um, I will put the link to his original um, tutorial because he um, is a fabulous teacher and makes it so easy. You don't need the stamp to begin with. You could certainly trace out a rounder figure to do this. Um, the, I suppose the tutorial is more about how the, you fill it in with the lines rather than creating the figure. And if you are interested in drawing in his style, again, he has lots and lots of tutorials on his site. He's got classes that he sells um, on how to do his particular illustration style. So. Um, I would certainly encourage, if you haven't come across him before, that you um, go check out his channel because it is amazing and just the amount of interesting tutorials that he has on his page are phenomenal. So the trick, I suppose, to this mermaid is that contrast between the vertical and horizontal lines. They're not particularly straight and the sort of slight curves in it gives that almost 3D effect on the page. And just again, it's that really interesting texture and it's just created by lines. I'm not even doing an outline around the outside, it's just created by lines going from one side to the other. Now my Momo is not going to stay uh, that blue colour, but by giving it sort of that colour in the background sort of helped make it look a little bit interesting. The other thing that I found on my page when I was doing it was um, I've got a very straight mermaid with a very straight tail. Now, if I did this again, I would certainly um, think about how I shaped my image a little bit more. When I'd finished, I went back and coloured over my mermaid with my white Stabilo oil pencil, and then I re-stamped the image with the black ink. So I've got an outline to her. And these concept steps that I'm using are all designed to work together. So you see I've got those fabulous eyelashes. They sort of work over what um, comes on the page as well. So the eyelashes fit to the eyes on the stamp, which just works really, really well. 
Then now I'm just going in with some colour pencils to add some colouring to my mermaid. And because she is an underwater creature and I have no idea what shade a mermaid is, she's just looking a little bit alien-esque with her colouring, I don't know, but I quite liked how she came up on the page. I'm just using some paint pens to add in some details and because I stamped that mostly in the right image but I kind of just went off to one side, I um, filled in the line. Now this video is actually done quite a while ago. I was, um, and you will notice that this is my brand new um, botanical stencil, which I'd never used before because I've just popped everything out for the first time. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you'll know that I, after doing this page, I became completely obsessed with this stencil. I have used it so many times in so many different ways. And it's not a stencil I ever thought I would like. But doing it on this page, making the seaweed in the background, it was just like amazing. So um, I really enjoyed it and it's had lots of outings since. So I started off with some lime green and now I'm sort of mixing the lime green with some marine. So I wanted to have the seaweed but I didn't want it to be really in your face. I wanted it to sort of blend into the background. So by blending those colours together it sort of added a little bit of depth to the, the background that I had and um, it's something I do quite a lot when I'm stenciling things like this that are actually in the foreground is I sort of use it to sort of mix up the paint afterwards and I'm using some lighter colors in the um, foreground now so I'm using I think that's aloe um, which is one of the new Duna Wakely paints, again mixed up with all the other colours, just to sort of sit um, or hide particularly the tail of my um, mermaid, which I wasn't too happy with. It was just a little bit odd, so I decided that I, if I put some stenciling over the top of my mermaid, it would sort of blend her into the background. Because I had this other page, I decided to use up the leftover paint that I had and just sort of stencil over this page as well, which I'm really glad I did. Both pages turned out obviously to have sort of an underwater theme to them, um, but I'm, I'm really glad with how they worked. So a lovely, lovely stampy friend of mine um, stamped out a whole heap of these fish from Adina Wakely stamp set that she owned. Uh, it's not a stamp set I would ever buy, I have to say, because I'm not really a sort of underwater fishy person, but it was just perfect for this page. So I pulled them out of my stash and used my scribble sticks to colour them in. So I'm just, what uh, scribble sticks, if you haven't come across them before, are a water um, activated pigment stick. Um, they're not really waxy that you can kind of use them as crayons but if you water activate them you can sort of get this really intense color off them as well so um, they're really handy to have and the great thing about them is they match all the acrylic colors in the Dina Wakely range as well so you can get some really cool effects by sort of mixing both of them together. I'm just being really haphazard with how I'm doing this activating my stick putting it on if I don't like the color or blotting off with a piece of tissue, mixing them up, adding in some straight colour over the top so I'm not activating that, just to get some funky looking fish on my page. And the sayings there you can see as well are also sayings from this um, stamp set. So I'm going in with um, some glue and just gluing these down the page in different directions. You can see I've got some coming off the page which I'll sort of snip off their tails and overlapping them over my mermaid as well. So with that stenciling over the top of the mermaid, it's still quite light, so you can sort of still see the texture behind it, which sort of gives the impression of the seaweed being kind of translucent. I'm just going in now with a paint pen over the top of those stamped images, just to add a little bit more detail and to pop them out of the edge. And going in again with my mermaid and just adding in some white, just to again prop in some of that detail that sort of blended into the background somewhat so just to balance up the image a little bit so the waves on the sea inspire me happiness 
moves in salty waters, let the sea see, let the sea set you free. So just those three little sayings from that stamp set I'm going to put on the page. I think no, I only put one on. <laughs> I had to decide which one I was going to use. So this is the final page. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. It was something out of my comfort zone, but it was lots and lots of fun. And I will link the original video um, in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.